We begin with two brothers given a second chance, imprisoned for a quarter of a century for a crime they did not commit. Good evening and welcome to 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. Today has been a long time coming for George and Melvin De Jesus. They tearfully embraced their family and friends for the first time in decades. The brothers were sentenced in 1997 for the brutal murder of a woman in Pontiac. That's 25 years of their lives they will never get back. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykat shows us the clues that unlocked their freedom and has their tearful reunion with family. The De Jesus brothers have prayed for this day for roughly two and a half decades, and now they are thanking the Conviction Integrity Unit of the Attorney General's Office and the Michigan Innocence Clinic for proving their innocence. An emotional celebration for George and Melvin De Jesus and their families after roughly 25 years in prison for a Pontiac murder they did not commit. The men serving time in prisons in Coldwater and Ionia set free after a team from the Michigan Innocence Clinic spent six years to find new evidence. This is the best day of my life. We're extremely happy. We're extremely um, overwhelmed. I want to say it, it, it's been a long time coming. And, um, we, it took a lot of a lot of help. It took a lot of people. In Pontiac, investigators say the two brothers were tied to a killing of a woman in July of 1995, after the victim was found naked in her basement with wires binding her neck, wrists, and ankles. But Attorney General Dana Nessel's team says while Brandon Gohagen confessed to the sexual assault, he cut a deal to blame the murder on the De Jesus brothers, despite them both having alibis at the time. The only scientific evidence at the scene belonged to Brandon Gohagen. For advanced DNA testing, there was nothing that connected either George or Melvin to that scene. Nothing. Assistant AG Robin Frankel telling us the break came by way of a fresh review, a closer look at Gohagen, who was later imprisoned in a strikingly similar case. The prime witness was 20 years later convicted of a very similar event and sentenced to life in prison. And when we looked at those two cases and we saw this case and the new one were so similar, we started pulling at the thread. She says a dozen more women were also found to have been sexually assaulted by Gohagen and his credibility unraveled, especially as the only witness in the case against the De Jesus brothers. The Oakland County Prosecutor's Office has agreed with the new findings and the exonerations. Currently, the state's CIU has 1,600 other requests for assistance, as George De Jesus expresses his gratitude for those who never stopped fighting in the name of truth. I want to thank the Innocence Project, Cooley. I want to thank um, Innocence Clinic and U of M. I want to thank the, the CIU Conviction Integrity, Dana Nessel. These cases mark the third and fourth wrongful convictions overturned by the Conviction Integrity Unit of the Michigan Attorney General's Office. Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Wow, 25 years. Thank you so much, Simon, for that report. The DeJesus brothers are far from alone in this. According to the National Registry of Exonerations, 3,035 people have been exonerated since 1989. Their combined time served totals more than 26,700 years lost. Let that sink in for a moment. You can read more about the exoneration of the Jesus brothers and see the video of their tearful reunion in Simon's story on our website, wxyz.com.